Uh, yes, good, good day. Uh, today we're going to talk about candle holders and uh, how to shop for candle holders, how to get your money's worth, right, what to look for, and, uh, and some ideas, some new ideas, because candle holders come in a thousand different shapes, sizes, modes, and themes. So uh, years and years ago, everybody had candles in their house or so on. They were usually very simple things. Uh, then there were some that were more elaborate as time went by, especially pieces that were in the center of a uh, of dining table or uh, that kind of purpose. But, um, but now today we've got uh, a great, just a, a wonderful selection of candle holders and, uh, and I'm going to show you a few and something, some things that may pique your interest and, and uh, uh, maybe you'll uh, be looking for. Uh, and also hopefully that when you see something you'll have a better idea of really what it is and where it came from. So um, these are uh, traditional Waterford uh, candle holders. As you can see, being Waterford, it's superb glass and nicely cut and it, they're simple little candle holders or so on too. Uh, uh, to use and this and and they're almost always sold in a pair of these smaller ones like this. Um, then there's uh, these are triple candle holders. They were um, these happen to be oh I don't know Cambridge glass or Tiffin or Fostoria or Imperial or Jeanette or. Uh, so one of the companies that operated in the 20s and the 30s and uh, these were popular then they weren't horribly expensive but they were a little more expensive than uh, just a, a standard um, standard kind of thing so they were they were a little uh, they were what they call elegant glass and elegant glass was just a little more elegant than normal depression glass so these, these, uh, there's lots of these around available for you to shop for. Um, these are definitely fancier. Uh, they, this is probably Cambridge glass, but it could be Fostoria or maybe Tiffin. But um, you see it's got a design on it and it's got lusters. In fact, these are called candle lusters. And, um, and they're, they're, you know, there's, there's something to look at and, and also the lusters have a tendency to refract the, uh, the candle light and show it off around the room. Uh, these are just a little more ornate luster candle holders. These are probably from the 19th century and uh, they are, again, they use uh, uh, crystals to uh, kind of show off the light around and be um, more more showy. So, uh, but you can, again, we're talking about candle holders. You can do, there's such a wide variety of opportunities with candle holders. This is um, a sconce that you put on your wall with a pair of candles in it. And um, ordinarily, there's some pretty good purposes for these back in the days before electricity. But even after electricity, they uh, were very decorative. These are, uh, are fish, fishnet bobbins uh, made into candle holders. With the little holes in the back here so you can hang them on the wall. But uh, there's so many opportunities for, for candles. Uh, that you can really use your imagination. Uh, this one is pretty fancy. American Brilliant Period uh, cut crystal, um, probably mid to late 1800s, um, and just as ornate as you know, I mean, pretty pretty ornate. They. Uh, this is really fancy and it would be a perfect centerpiece because if you're talking to people across the table you can kind of see through it and it doesn't block your view. But uh, it's, a, it's a showy piece alright. So, um, so that's, that's pretty much what you um, can 
think about when you're shopping for candles or so on, you use a lot of ideas. It depends on what you're going to use it for and where you're going to put it. So uh, just to, just to, and there's a lot of fun involved in, in this kind of shopping. So thank you. Bye-bye.